And it's fair to say that all relationships always involve at least two particular phenomena, two basic phenomena. The first is projection, and the second is transference. Now, we can argue about this, but they're present in all relationships. And part of the reason is we have to remember this elemental fact that the other is always, always a stranger. Even after great familiarity, the other is always a stranger. How could we presume to know another person if we don't know ourselves? And no one here knows oneself. It's, it's an infinite continent, too large to explore in such a short lifetime. And how could we ever know the other? And one of the ways in which our psyche works is, is it's anxious when it comes to the unknown. And it tries to fill the gap between this and the other with what is known. And so projection is one of the ways in which our psyche tries to make new situations familiar or manageable or comprehensible by employing the knowledge that we have heretofore. Now, sometimes that's very useful. So if you wind up in a strange city, there's a chance you'll be able to find your way around there just because you'll start looking for points of reference and you'll, you'll have some tools ranging maybe from your phone to the capacity to read a map or talk to a stranger. These are, these are all useful tools, but in a sense what we're doing is projecting onto an absolute situation what we've experienced in the past. Now projections occur because the psyche is active, continuously active. Sometimes it um, has enough energy accrued on its own that it can leave us involuntarily and, and enter the world. And underneath all of this is, is you know, the fact that it's occurring essentially unconsciously. As I believe I mentioned last week, we don't ever say to ourselves, I think I'll have a projection in the next 15 minutes, <laughs> okay? Or I'll, I'll have 3.2 projections by the end of the, of the, of the day, but, but it happens. So, the reason being is we never are under, under complete control of whatever stimuli are incoming, and we are never fully able and, and, and will not be able to manage all that's happening inside of us. So a projection is a psychic content that leaves us and enters the world. And the psychic content is, is um, something that often attains or carries with it or adheres to it, a provisional sense of self. Uh, a script, an expectation, potentially an outcome.